This is Eugene Panrickovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Lenovo G560 laptop computer with a cracked screen, and we're going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on a Lenovo G560 laptop computer. Now, the first thing that we need to do before we get started is make sure the battery is out. Now the customer for this laptop already shipped me the laptop without the battery in, but if the battery was here, we need to slide this lever to unlock the laptop, and then, well actually we need to slide this lever to the right to unlock the laptop, and then while sliding this lever to the left, we pull the battery out like this. So once the battery is out, we can safely work on the laptop. Okay, in order to get to the screen on this laptop, we have to remove the bezel or the metal frame that surrounds, the plastic frame that surrounds the screen. And in order to do that, we have to remove a set of eight screws, I believe, on the top and bottom. Now, where the rubber feet are, where the screws are hiding behind. Some of them don't have screws hiding behind, so we just have to open it up and see. Okay, so the tools we're going to need today is a small electronic screwdriver, the PH1 bit. PH stands for Phillips. Actually, this is a PH0 bit. And the PH1 bit is a little bit larger. We're going to be using this most of the time. We're going to need a pair of sharp metal tweezers and an X-Acto knife with a pointed blade. And I'll show you what that's used for. Okay, so actually I'll show you right now. Uh, we want to remove the rubber feet to find the screws exposed behind the rubber feet. And what I'll actually do with those feet is paste them beside the screw holes so we don't lose them. So now we're going to see if there are screws behind these feet, and there are. So we're going to have a lot of work cut out for us to remove eight screws from the plastic bezel. Now most laptops have four screws, and some have no screws on the bezel, but this particular laptop looks like it has eight. So we have to remove all eight. Okay, so we're almost done with the... Well, actually, we're in luck. The metal ones on the bottom, they don't have screws, but they do have screw holes. So, I, if when you're working on your G560, I would double check to make sure there's nothing behind there. And same thing here, there's a screw hole, but no screw. So we only have to remove six which widens our load. Okay, so once we remove the rubber feet, we use our PH1 bit to remove the screws one by one. Now for each set of screws, I like to keep them in a separate pile, so when you're pulling, putting the laptop back together, you can keep track of what screws go where. So here's my pile down here. All right, let's keep moving. All right, let's get good focus. There we go, our focus is back. I have to look from the corner of my eye to my laptop to see that we still have a good angle. All right, and the last screw. You have to undo these screws at a little bit of an angle, so you have to use a little bit of pressure so you can get to the screw and not strip it. Alright, so once the screws are out, the next step is the most challenging part of the procedure, is where we snap the bezel off. What I like to do for this part is put my fingertips on the screen side of the bezel and gently start lifting up. 
and work my way around the screen. Sometimes it gives, sometimes it doesn't. So the parts that don't give go somewhere else and find somewhere else that gives and come back to the stubborn parts. So far we're doing pretty good. The top of the bezel is off. And then we'll go on the bottom. And we're almost there. Now sometimes the hinge covers are a little bit stubborn. So I like to do is put my metal tweezers there to free it up. It looks like something's still holding it. And it's off. The plastic bezel is off. So we put this to the side and we look at the screen. So to remove the screen, the screen is mounted by some screws on some metal brackets on the side. So we have to get to these screws. And to get to the screws, sometimes you have to tilt the screen forward a little bit. Looks like on each side there's uh, four screws on each side. So we're going to start working on those. When you work on those, make sure the screen assembly is tilted back a little bit. As once you free the screen, you don't want the screen falling forward on you. Okay, so we remove them one by one. And once again, put these in a separate file from the first set of screws. Like so. Keep moving. Okay, so that's four screws from this side. We turn the laptop around and we do the same thing. We took the screen forward a little bit to get to the bottom screw and we keep going. Okay, and this is a bit unusual. The the left hand side only has three screws. So somewhere some worker in China messed up and only put three screws and the quality control supervisor didn't catch that errant worker. Well I caught that worker now. You're in big trouble. Alright. So once the screws are off, what we want to do is slowly Tilt the screen a screen forward. Make sure nothing's getting stuck. Sometimes the video cable is on the the webcam cable is on the back gets stuck, but not in this case. So we slowly tilt it forward and we see what's going on on the bottom. So it looks like there's some adhesive here. The screen is kind of not giving very well, so it looks like there's some adhesive here and some adhesive here. All right, now the screen can move around. So this is a LED screen, and LED screens have only one connector, and usually it's in this place on the screen, and it's held down by some adhesive tape. So we lift up the adhesive tape, like so. And there's some adhesive on the back of the video cable too. We lift up this adhesive, like so. And the video cable is now free and we release the connector. And we do that by pulling back like so. And the connector is off. All right, and this is the screen that we have. It's a 15.6 inch. LED screen, very standard. As of mid 2011, this is the most common type of screen that goes in laptop computers. So you're in luck. It's not too hard to find. Okay, so let's take a look at the part number. See if we can get a good focus. Here we go. The part number is B156XW02. So when you do your search, look for B156XW02. Or if you want to make things easier for yourself, you can buy it directly from us, from Screen Surgeons. You go to ScreenSurgeons.com, click on Buy a Screen, 
and then click on this model number and then you can buy directly online from us. All right, and that's all you need to do. So once you have your new screen, what you want to do is put it back, put the connector on, then put the screws back on the metal mounting hinges, and then put the plastic bezel on, and put the screws on top of the bezel, and you're good to go. And you should have a screen, a computer with a functioning screen. So that's it. Uh, my name is Eugene Hanrikovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you, and good luck.